My name is Doug Parker. I'm the host of Cruise Radio, and today we're going to talk about Carnival reversing the decision to charge their guests for room service. Before we get to that, if you like what you're watching, feel free to subscribe to the Cruise Radio YouTube channel or like this video. So let's get to this. So first, we're going to rewind. On New Year's Eve, Carnival's brand ambassador, John Heald, posted on Facebook that Carnival was going to start charging for room service. And that that caused a lot of pushback, actually. Um, We're talking about people just going nuts, and rightfully so. I mean, you can't boast free room service when people are booking a cruise a year out and then hook them with a charge when they sail, right? And people took this to extreme. There was a change.org petition happening with over a thousand signatures, people blowing up social media. Some someone even put a death threat against John Heald, which was very odd. Like, why would someone do that? Because the thing is, at the end of the day, John is just the messenger. The people who make the decisions are usually hiding behind their desks and counting beans. So while people are out there getting upset, it wasn't John's fault. He's just an employee and the one that gets the crap kicked out of him when there's bad news, or on the flip side, he gets the praise when something good happens. So fast forward to early January, Carnival Cruise Line made the decision to keep room service the way it is. Basically, it's not broke. Don't fix it. Um, There's going to be complimentary items still. The four fee items like the firecracker shrimp and the chicken quesadillas, chicken wings and such. And as of now, no delivery charge. So you're just going to keep the way, you know, keep the things the way they are and have been. Um, So the brand ambassador, John Heald, posted on Facebook this morning, which is January 6, 2019. He said, I had previously told you about changes to our room service that would go into effect in January. It went on to say, we are in the process of making some adjustments to that plan to balance out the interests of our guests with our efforts to reduce food waste costs. For the time being then, there will be no changes until we finalize a plan that I will communicate with you. Obviously, John didn't write that. That was corporate speak that he copy and pasted. But as you can see, Carnival, they, they I think they woke up to the pushback they were getting. And they said, you know what? Let's reevaluate things and don't change these things quite yet. Let's, uh, let's workshop it a little bit. I also want to point out that he said finalize a plan. So he never said that it was going to continue to be free. Uh, if you follow the trends of Royal Caribbean and Norwegian, they're charging guests the seven ninety five delivery fee plus gratuity. So uh, some of that could you know roll over to Carnival eventually. But right now they're going to maintain the current course. Some of the complimentary items on the menu are like cookies, tuna sandwich, Reuben cereals, Caesar salad, ham and cheese, PB and J. BLTs, uh, New York cheesecake. There's a lot of uh, complimentary items still, but on the flip side, there are some surcharged items, some four fee items on their, uh, you know, per I- a la carte menu, I guess it's called. I like the wings are five dollars, chicken tenders five dollars, fried shrimp are six, um, quesadillas five, pizza delivery. Now the pizza delivery is five dollars, but you can still get pizza for free if you walk upstairs to the Lido deck and just you know ask for a pie. But if you want it brought to your room, that's going to be five dollars. Um, grilled chicken, BLT, turkey wrap, fries, and so on. So there is going to be the items that you pay extra for, and there are the items that are still free. So there you have it. In the meantime, enjoy your free room service while it lasts. Once again, my name is Doug Parker. I'm the host of Cruise Radio in the Daily Cruise Radio News Briefs. Love to have you listen to the show. Wherever you listen to your favorite podcast, just type in Cruise Radio or Cruise Radio News. So what are your thoughts on this? What do you think about Carnival reversing the room service policy and taking that charge away, you know, basically keeping it how it is for now? Do you think that they're going to eventually tack on that $7.95 plus gratuity service fee, or do you think they're going to keep it for free? Uh, Only time will tell, and I'm sure we'll have an answer here in the next month to few weeks. So if you like this video or you want to see more content, feel free to subscribe and give us a like. Thank you so much for watching.